Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an eye tutorial using the Studio Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. My lips are from Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream and my cheeks are Makeup Geek Blush Powders. All of these were in the November Groovy Town Boxy Charm Unboxing. Stay tuned and see what I did to create this look. So the Bella Pierre went on a lot more wet and less creamy than I thought, but we'll see how it dries up. I'm going to use my Makeup Geek palette for my contour. We're going to use the Makeup Geek Spellbound. And Spellbound is a nice pinkish, almost, it's a muted, <clears throat> I'm not doing a good description, um, but this color I like to use almost daily. Um, it's got, it's so pretty when it goes on. It's not an in-your-face pink, and it blends well actually with if you do use other pinks on your eyes and lips but will do very well with browns and neutral colors so for for me I like this pink a lot and I use it a lot just because it's it's just a really nice balance so we're gonna go in with the studio makeup on the go eyeshadow palette and you will see these colors are absolutely amazing. I've already prepped my eyelids with um, one of the MAX, uh, I think this one is a Painterly Paint Pot. As always, I like going in with one flat color, matte color, and I always start it all over the eye just to give it a good blending base to go off of. Once I get my base, I'm going to go in. Ooh, so many colors, so little time. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this one on and work my way up from the crease. I'm going to get into the crease nicely. And slowly lighten pressure as I work my way up. Now I'm going to use, go in a little darker with this purple here. Or this plum, I should say. And further work that one into the crease. And again, I'll lighten pressure as I go up and blend. I'm going to get a little bit lighter brush. This is the Defined Crease Brush. I'm going to go in with this gray here. I'll take a little blending brush and blend all of that together. Not too worried if it takes off too much product because I have more right here that I can reapply. Using a flat brush, I'm gonna take this nice plum here that is a matte. And we're gonna highlight or bring this in a little bit more on the last third of the eye. I'm 
and that just adds a nice little holiday shimmer. Since we're in the gray plum family, I'm going to do my eyeliner with the gel eyeliner from Makeup Geek, and this one is called Rave. It's a nice gray tone, so we're going to stay with the grays. I'm going to use that same flat brush I used with the Sparkle um, Light Plum, but I'm actually going to go in with this darker plum and go right over the top of that gel liner. I'm going to use my Anastasia. Um, Dip brow. This one's in chocolate, and we're going to clean up these eyebrows. Today, I'm going to try this Superhero Elastic Volumizing Mascara by It Cosmetics. And no, I'm not doing falsies for once. We're going to see how this does all on its own. Okay, that's just one coat. Hmm. It says superhero, and this might be... A superhero mascara. Wow. I'm kind of liking it. And it wouldn't be an Amy eye look without getting mascara on myself. Oh. All right, so that's just one coat, and that's pretty impressive. So, let's see what two does. All right, two coats. It's thickening up. Very, very exciting. Hopefully that chunk has dried. There we go. We'll just flick that off. We did have a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow. Not a lot, which was absolutely exciting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up, which means I'm going to use my powder. And this was a combination of Ben Nye and... Mineral Veil ID. Um, there was just a little bit of the Mineral Veil left and I had gotten some Ben Nye so I decided to mix the two. We are now powdered. But we are missing some shine on the cheeks and you know I can't go with that much shine on the cheeks. So we are going to do, um, this is the Kathleen Lights palette for Makeup Geek. I'm a Makeup Geek Geek. So I'm going to use the rosish color here. Since we have a rosy pink going. And as you can see, these highlighters are amazing. Amazing. Makeup Geek is just amazing. The world is a better place with Marlena in it. All right, it looks like I got, uh-uh, I got a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we've completed this look, and now I'm going to go do hair, and 
an official review in a moment on what I thought. Stay tuned. Was very pleased with this month's BoxyCharm. Absolutely loved everything that they included. The Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream, awesome. The Studio Makeup Eyeshadow Palette, amazing. All you ladies need this palette. Go out and purchase it. And the Makeup Geek Blush. Y'all know that I am a Makeup Geek Hound, so I think everyone needs a lot of Makeup Geek in their life. Thank you, BoxyCharm, for a job well done.